welcome to week two of the finals. I'm Amy Linzel, and here to give us a rundown on the semi-final clashes this weekend is rugby league legend and former Sydney Roosters captain Brad Fittler. Freddie, now you've won a couple of premierships yourself, one with the Panthers in 91 and one with the Roosters in 2002. How hard was it watching that qualifying final between the two sides? I was just hoping that it was going to be highly competitive. And that's what happened, you know, all the way to the point where it went down to the last five seconds. So. I, don't know, I just walked away so happy, you know, I know there would have been so many people out west which, who would have just been over the moon. The fact I watched the Roosters go down was a bit sad, but I think they're most probably the, the stronger of the two teams to fight their way back in. There were so, so many great players. The fact they got the Cowboys this week makes it uh, really tough because, you know, <clears throat> Cowboys got so many uh, representative style players who handle pressure games. So it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a brilliant game, I've got no doubt. Plenty of really exciting matchups on the park. We've got um, Mitchell Pearce v Jonathan Thurston and, and the Sonny Bill Williams v Jason Tamalolo. I mean, it's going to be a forwards battle, a halves battle. Um, what do you expect? I'm not sure. The one thing I do know, the Cowboys have been able to really stick to a game plan lately. Uh, last week, they sort of stuck to a corridor and they scored three or four tries down the same place. And I think Robbie Lewis' try was, you know, making a din in there to score under the post. Uh, the week before, they really attacked George Tafur and got some errors out of George, and they just kept at it all day. You know, that's obviously comes down to you know Matt Scott and Jonathan just, you know, making sure that everyone stays on track and knows what and know what they're doing. You know, Mitchell Pearce is obviously coming in to a real calm place in his life, and he's playing like that on the footy field. While JT's been there for now a couple of years, uh, Mitchell's running game I think really excites everyone. He scored that try uh, against Penrith last week, which showed it. Uh, the town Malala, he's just. A, a machine, so thank God I'm not playing anymore. Like, I'd hate to tackle him, he looks awful. And then you obviously compare him to Sonny, who looks even worse. So, Well, the second semi final match at Allianz Stadium, of course, the Sea Eagles take on the Bulldogs. Yeah, this is a tough one, but you know, given the history of, you know, obviously the coaches and, um, you know, their last, you know, the last sort of six games I can remember have all been great games. So, you know, should be a beauty, should be a great weekend. So that matchup, um, where do you see that being won? Well, in the middle, they have to compete. You know, James Graham and Aidan Tolman were unbelievable. If Manly can't compete with that, I, I think they'll really struggle. And you know, the Bulldogs look like they, you wonder where their options are in attack in a tight game. You know, they've got Tim Lafoy, who's been brilliant this year. I'm not sure how Corey Thompson is, he went off injured. So you wonder where their tries are going to come from. Uh, but I saw Frank Pritchard make a big run on the weekend. He just hit onto this ball and people went, you know, like 10 pins everywhere. I thought, ah, oh, you know, there's someone else who they can rely on for a bit of impact. So, you know, they're, they're slowly coming good, the dogs. So if we're looking at a preliminary final that um, includes Rabbitohs, Panthers, Roosters, Bulldogs, who do you see making it through to the grand final? Bulldogs. Well, the Roosters, Penrith, but that's my heart saying that. So, um, yeah, mostly not the person to ask. <laughs> How would you feel if it was the two of those teams playing in, in the grand final against one another? Where, well, where in 2003, I was sort of, they beat us, so that's the last time I think I, I, I uh, bow. So, you know, I think the fact no one's won the comp in back-to-back uh, -back for a long time, I think that would be an amazing achievement. You know, even the great sides over the last 10, 15 years, you know, the Melbournes and the Manleys and some of these brilliant footy teams we've had, they haven't been able to do it. So, I think... For a team to be able to do that and for that to be the Roosters, I think would be an amazing achievement and worth supporting. Great. Well, an exciting weekend of football and also some exciting entertainment. Um, Australian rap artist uh, Illy will be playing at the Roosters Cowboys match, a uh, pregame entertainment. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> Rocky. And um, also DJ Stephen Ferris, he will be at the Sea Eagles Bulldogs game. So we hope to see you there and I'll see you next week.